Welcome everybody to another stream. Uh, today we are doing uh, Whiz Kids Miniatures. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, some I've changed a couple of things, so I'm just checking the sound is working okay. I'll say hello to everybody. We got Scorpler, Umbro, the Bold GM, uh, Dover Cook, Carlos, and um, Muses Touch. All in the house so far. Absolutely awesome. As you can see, I've got my special winter hat coming on now because uh, in Scotland it's starting to get a little bit more chilly, so I need to protect my bald head. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving on. Thank you, uh, Dover Cook, let, letting me know. Um, it's always difficult when you change a few settings and uh, you get scared that uh, you're going to get echoing and all the other weird stuff that goes on. Okay, so today we have the Hydra from WizKids Games. Um, it comes with two sets of heads, so you can you can buy the one model and you can either have it with double heads or single heads. And this is the paint scheme we're going for today, which is very, very simple, a nice basic paint. Now. To save some time, I've actually got two more pre-painted and <laughs> primed, <laughs> just like Blue Peter. <laughs> I find the uh, the priming takes up like half the show, so I thought it was easier to get that done before we get started. So let's let's get ourselves all set up, nice and easy, and we can make a start on these fantastic miniatures. Now let me see where I'm. I'm. Let's get this out of the way. Let me give you a closer look what I've done so far. Now, the base that comes with this miniature is a 75mm WizKids base. It does The, the actual Hydra covers the whole of this base, um, so it's a, a bit pointless having the 75mm. So what I did, I upgraded um, to a larger 100mm base. And as you can see, I've already added the gravel. Uh, it's just PVA glue and some gravel added. And what I've done, I've just coated the whole miniature in red, ready for our next stage. So that's all you need to do to begin with, is just add your primer colors. You can have any color for a hydra. You can be blue, red, yellows, blacks. Um, this is the one with the five heads. So we're going for a green hydra of this one. Let's get some focus in so you can see it better. There we are. So this is our five-headed Hydra. It's a very nice miniature. And again, it will be quite a simple one to paint. It's all dry brushing and some ink washes and a little bit of highlighting. But the main thing is to get your primer coat on first. This is the ten-headed, ten-headed Hydra. Look at that. That isn't going to be easy. <laughs> So all I've done, red primer, red primer, green primer. That's as far as I've got. Uh, but I thought it would save us a little bit of time on the show uh, just to get the priming done because that's the boring part, priming your minis. Now these heads are supposed to be interchangeable. So if you bought one Hydra, you can take off the single heads and replace them with double heads. Um, but I've been greedy and I've just bought three hydras so I can have one of each <laughs> hello mighty, mighty Lancer games yes it's uh, starting to get chilly now so the Lord of the Rings hat has come out ready for my winter winterness winterness <laughs> okay let's get started um, shall we start with the green or the red now we'll start with the red I think uh, we're using Valeco paints today you can use any Paints, any acrylic paints. I'm using Valeco because I'm using Valeco because they are kind of officially licensed with WizKids. Um, so I'm, that's why I'm using Valeco too. Um, okay, so today's main colours are red, we're going a green and white. So we've got three colours to do all our, all our shades and highlight them with. But first of all, we get the dry brushing done first. So each miniature now is going to get dry brushed with a lighter shade of the colour, so 
it'll be, be a lighter red and a lighter green just to highlight all those scales across all the miniatures so let's give these a little whirl on our vortex mixer <laughs> And we'll just get some onto our palette. And again, with some white. And we'll just add this to our palette. And the lid's stuck. There you go. Someone super glued the lid on, probably. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can get this all so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I've got my tissue there for my dry brushing. Now I'm just using a terrain brush. Um, this is a large terrain brush by Army Painter um, and all I'm going to be doing is I'm doing the green one first now is I'm adding some green to my tissue and a little bit of the white and I'm mixing that on my tissue just there there you go let's move this across there we are I'm just mixing it on my tissue to get a lighter green and then I'm taking it off my tissue and we'll just blast around all the scales going up the scales around the miniature and it will give a beautiful instant effect on all the scales looks like snake skin doesn't it there you go now I always do the dry brushing first on all the miniatures if I can um, because if you make a mess and go over um, certain areas it doesn't matter because you're going to be painting over them uh, so we try to get all these areas done first working around the head quite a large miniature let me see if I can get back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing better that's, there we are that's better it's more in screen so we're just going over all the scales nice and easy going over the head of the snake we're going against the scales against the scales all the time we're not going down the scales going against them um, that leaves the edge of each scale highlighted um, it's a very simple way to do things but as you can see all those scales are starting to pop already. Is that lovely? The hardest part is getting in between all these heads. Now this one's not too bad, but that ten-headed Hydra. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna have fun with that one today. There we are. So we just go in up the scales now what I'm going to do is add a little bit more white to the green a bit more green we're just making it a little bit lighter and we'll just go over the highest areas with our light green and this will just be on the scales and the top of the scales so we're just picking out them a little bit more um, we will be going over with an ink wash and that will kind of blend all these little areas in but we're just picking up the curve top of the face of the snake just highlighting the head of the snake more as we want that to be our center 
that's attracted when you look at the miniature. And again, we've got these scales here. They're just, just a bit lighter than the last on the corners. Just here. So we've got all the snake heads done and the body and what we'll do now is we'll let that dry off and we'll move on to the red red one and again the red one is exactly the same technique except we're using red and added some white to that mix again when I um, wash my brushes I just um, add some clean water and then just take off the paint until it comes away from my tissue. There we are. Hello, Tule. Okay, let's move on to the red one. Like I say, we get all the um, dry brushing done first and then we can move on to ink washes, highlights and the rest of the paintings. Very simple. Again we're just adding some red here. Now this is already quite bright so it's going to need quite a, a light tone to really bring those scales out. Now I've got quite a dark red here on my palette so we're gonna lighten that up with lots of white, It'll go like a pinky color. Got a nice pink going there. And we'll do the same going around all the scales. I mean, you can do this with all the colors. You can use it for uh, blues and yellows. All you're doing is adding a lighter, lighter effect to your miniature and it highlights all the scales. And it's just a very simple way of enhancing that miniature. As you can see, that uh, that pink is bringing out all the red underneath for the scales. It looks very nice. The hard part is doing these ten heads. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, let's have a go. Let's, let's see if we can get all the heads done. Okay, we're going to the top of the heads. Just add in each one a little bit of highlight around each head there. Miniature is a little bit large for my camera. Uh, you have to excuse me wobbling around. But I think you'll get the gist of what I'm doing. Just add in this highlighting to all these scales. Let's get a bit more paint going. Okay, this is quite tricky. Gotta get in between all these little heads here. Mm -hmm. Also trying to show you on camera at the same time. There we are, that's better. Let's go along here. Do now is add a little bit more white to that pink 
and we'll do the same like we did on the green, just highlight certain areas. Top of the snake's head. Just going down each side using this large brush. And of course, picking out the tops of the scales and the highest areas just going around the tops of the scale and as you can see all the scales are all popping out now A very simple way to enhance your miniature and get some lovely effects on the scales. There we are. So that's all the scales done. Now we can start doing the rest of the miniature. These are fantastic uh, miniatures. These are the Wave 12, uh, wave, wave 12. These are Wave 11 from the WizKids games. That's more tissue. Okay, so now we need to do the center piece, the chest piece. Now this will be the tricky part to get into all those little bits. Um, so for this one, we shall be going for some green grey. And we'll just use a regiment brush from Army Painter. And we'll just slowly paint in all the breastplates. Now this will take quite a bit of time, um, but my goal today is to get the uh, body painted like this and um, the dry brushing like I've showed you and then we'll get those ink washes on and that should, should take us up to our hour. It's just a nice Nice, simple, relaxing Sunday paint, doing a Hydra. As you can see, I'm using my hands to steady myself, even with these large brushes and doing large areas. I'm still controlling my brush movement by using both my hands. Yeah, this is not easy. I have to try and get into here now. Oh. Okay, okay. That's fine, we'll get there, we'll get there. Come on then. Yes. Yeah, so we're just getting all the body done. Like I say, this will be a slow process, I'm afraid. Um, so I hope you're all enjoying yourself in chat. <laughs> Doesn't help, there you go. Don't make a mess, Mikey. Hard part is getting underneath the Hydra. Just here. I'm just going underneath the heads. 
Okay, let's see if we can turn this upside down now. And try to keep it in camera so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Yes, very, very tricky um, to get under here and get to paint the underbelly of all these hydras. That's a shot. But we can do it. We can do it. We won't give up. I mean, all we're doing is following the lines where the belly goes around and up past the neck. So it goes right to the top here. And we can just move our way down. I'm trying to keep it so you can see what I'm doing on the camera. I apologise if uh, I'm, if you can't see anything. There we go. Another one done. There's one right in the middle, look. Right down there. Oh. There you go. You can tell when I'm concentrating because I don't speak. <laughs> it's not easy to get under these uh, heads. That's for sure. There we go. Okay. We also have to do this side. When we add our ink wash, all these um, lovely scales and the belly um, will all just pop and all blend in lovely. And then what we do is we go over again with our paints and we can just highlight all the areas. And remember, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Um, 
We all make mistakes. Um, you just keep on painting. Hi Timothy, uh, thank you for that. It's a lovely, lovely comment. You'll have to excuse me ignoring you all in chat. Um, this is quite a delicate thing I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> everybody's watching me. Hold. <laughs> Okay, I just got one more of the Hydra's heads to try and get underneath. And that's this one here, and it's right at the back. And it's going to be the same on the other miniature too. Um, just here, I'm just going to go along the side and work my way in with the brush. There you go, that's going to work, that's fine. That's lovely. Yes, I'm happy with that now. Good. So there we are. That's the belly done. That's all our dry brushing done on this miniature. Absolutely fantastic. Now what we'll do is we'll let that dry. And all I need to do then is cover the whole miniature in a lovely ink wash. And that'll be ready for its highlighting. And then we can do the eyes. So let's move on to the red one. And you thought the green one was bad. <laughs> okay. Let's find a nice... Oh, that's right. This is what I'm going to use. I'm using this dark flesh. Um, you see on the box, box art there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to darken this off. And use this one, but make it um, kind of matching in what's on the box. So we'll give this a little mix up. And I will put it in a little spot there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tiny weeny weeny bit of black to that. Just to darken it a tiny, tiny little bit. Not much, just a tiny little hint of black. It's amazing how just the smallest amount of black when you mix it in um, really really changes that color dramatically. Crafty Gobo, thank you for following. Okay, so that's my color that I want for my Hydra's belly. On the red one so as you can see the green one looks fab let's see if we can do the same with that red one now we've got heads everywhere um, I would probably recommend um, as a beginner uh, to stick the heads on later but what it is you'll find it's easier to get uh, consistency with your painting if you paint the Hydra with the heads on because that dry brushing will all match in and it will all look the same. If you paint the heads separately and then add them to the miniature, what you'll find is you could have a different colour, you have different variations in colour, um, and it will make the it'll make the joint show up a lot more. So it's actually easier to paint these type of miniatures with the actual heads on. That's why I'm doing it that way. Okay. Start again. Yes, oh, that's a nice colour. I like that. There we go. So we just go straight across. 
starting with the biggest area first to give you confidence. So start with a nice easy part and then you can slowly move your way up to the harder part and that is under here. And just follow your line and you should be able to go straight up each one of the Hydra's heads no problem. Now I'm using the edge of my table on this one to support my hand because the miniature is too big for me to get hold of my fingers. So I'm actually using the side of the table and actually my little pinky finger there is actually holding this little hand as well. So I've got some support there. And that's controlling my paintbrush. When you're using brighter colours, um, if you make mistakes, they do show up more. Um, so you have to try and spend a little bit more time on your brighter colours, um, as any mistake with your paint going over, they will stand out like a sore thumb. So we try to be a bit more careful adding lighter colours on top of a lighter colour. No, it's not easy. We've got ten, ten snake heads here trying to bite me as I'm trying to get in there and they're like, <laughs> I'm going to get poisoned in a minute. I can just get the paint up the top there. So we'll move our way round now. There you go. What's nice is when you start seeing the miniature come together, um, like this belly and that red. I mean, that just looks beautiful. I mean, really, that to me that is absolutely gorgeous. Those color, those colors there. That looks really nice. <laughs> I, I, why did Carlos have to say I want a purple one? There'll be Claire in a minute. I want a purple one too. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can work our way up the Hydra heads. Gonna have to do this one-handed without support. So we're just moving down the sides, trying to be as even as we can. If you do make any little mistakes, it's not too bad of a problem because, <coughs> excuse me, once you add that ink wash, um, the ink wash will go into all the recesses. And if there's any small mistakes, um, it can often cover your little mistakes that you've made. So ink washes can also really help you cover up any little mistakes, but, um, uh, as that's that's gone on lovely so that's not a problem anyway but the ink wash does help if you do go over the lines um, and that, that ink wash will cover lots of nasty little errors ink wash is a fantastic thing um, and it just brings everything to life um, it's a really really Good thing to add to your miniatures. I see so many people, especially beginners, um, not using the ink wash um, because they may be scared to use it or they're, they're not sure. Uh, but once they've added that ink wash, all of a sudden you can, you can see they're like, wow! 
it makes a difference it really does Okay, we're doing a, we're doing well on this. That's it. It's not too bad at all. Let's go here. There you go. Lovely. Okay, so we've got three more of these. We've got that really difficult one in the middle. It goes right, right down the back there. I gotta have ET fingers to get into that one. Okay, here we go. Let's get him done. Get it done. Come on in. Get you in camera. <laughs> oh, don't you just love Shank? He pops on. Why don't you do one each colour? There's ten heads here. Ten! Ten! <laughs> <laughs> you managed to pull yourself away from Conan then, did you? What about Mokai and Eve? Are they still playing? Naughty people. <laughs> yes, you could do each Hydra a different colour head. Um, but um, I think that would look too, um, too a mixed match of colours. Uh, on this miniature, personally. There we are. Slowly getting that middle one done. See at the side there. Again, we'll do what we did on the last one, and we'll sneak in. We're sneaking on the side to finish his underbelly. There you go. That's a good little snake. <laughs> yes, very nice. Yes, so the ten headed Hydra. Very, very difficult uh, to paint under the bellies. Um, for a beginner, um, I'd say this is very difficult, and I do apologise to all the beginners out there looking at me and going, <gasps> "But this is a beginner's show. <laughs> Why? Why would he do this?" <laughs> Don't laugh, Mikey. <laughs> okay, come on. There you go. There we are. That's the middle one done. Yeah. Fantastic. Like I say, it's just your basic coat, but um, the job's done. Uh, and that's all you're looking for, is to get some paint on that miniature in the places. A bit like painting my numbers, really. Um, you're following all the different sections of the miniature, and you're just painting in that colour that you need for that part of the miniature. Except you haven't got the numbers written on your miniature. I'm just finishing the underbelly of this beautiful Hydra. Okay, last one, last, last, last neck. Come on then, we got you. Hi, Red Wolf. Ooh, Winterfang's still playing Conan, is she? Right. Right. 
<laughs> she's in trouble later. Oh, <laughs> she's in so much trouble. Okay, nearly finished the belly. Good thing about um, this taking a while, it means that uh, hopefully the green hydra will be dry and I can show you a bit of the ink washing. What I'll do is on um, the next stream, which will be on Tuesday, uh, we'll have all the ink washes applied and dried and then we can move on and do all the highlighting and finish off all those eyes and all the other extras in the base and make it look beautiful. Uh, today is getting the main colours on, uh, doing that dry brushing and adding an ink wash. There we are. I think that looks lovely. And then that's your basic blocking in of colours. You've got your dry brush in. And now we can, once that's dry, we can add some lovely ink washes. Hi, Hulk. Hulk Reality, how cool is that name? Hulk. Hi Andy. I'm sorry, I'm just quickly looking through you all, what you're saying in chat there. Uh, I had to, I, I couldn't stop while I was doing these because uh, concentration. So I, I want to try and see what you're talking about but uh, these are these look fab so far I'll just drink a bit more oh, on the floor here so this is the green one that we've done and like I said we've done the dry brushing and we've got it, all the main color on the center of the body which is still a little bit tacky um, hoping to get some ink on there before we end the show and of course our red one now these two miniatures, if you arrived late to the show, they come with um, two sets of heads. Um, you've got a five-headed Hydra uh, and a 10-headed Hydra that comes in the box set. You get the one body, one body and 10 heads. What you could also do is if you don't want to buy two, two of these, you could use these heads for um, like a Conan scene. And you could have the, the set um, the set god and have all the snakes lying around that would be good um, you can make a diorama by using the heads that would also be fantastic okay let's move on to our dry brushing dry brushing our ink washes now somewhere around here here he is this is my little ink pot holder by Scottish Andy and we have some Agrax earth shade in our pot awesome little thing so we'll take get rid of this and we shall add some ink wash to all this miniature now I don't think I'm going to be able to add it to the middle because that's still tacky but we can go around the green area just to get that ink wash to show you the effects all right I'm just using an old army painter brush that uh, is absolutely ruined and I'll be using that to add my ink wash. Okay, now with the green, I'll be using a brown ink wash. With the red, I'll be using a black ink wash for on the red. Um, what I need to do as well is, we'll have some tissue handy. 
because what I'm going to be doing is adding the ink wash and then taking the ink wash off. Now you can either use your little cotton buds complete with little baby um, but I like to use some tissue on the larger miniatures but cotton buds are great for around the head of the miniature to remove any excess um, ink wash. Okay, let's see if we can get this in camera. There we go. Now all we're doing is adding ink wash along the green areas to begin with. And it instantly makes everything just pop. It's amazing, amazing stuff. Now we're going to do this in sections because there's a lot of ink wash to go on. Now this is where the tissue comes in and what we do is we go down and we pull away the ink wash from the scales so it's just left in the recesses not on top of the scales and you get a lovely scale effect going around. So we're just taking off excess leaving what we can inside the deepest recesses and you get a lovely effect with your ink wash just like so. Now we do this all the way around our snake. Ink wash isn't just a case of let's chuck a load of ink wash on our miniature and hope it looks fantastic. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of work as well so even just add an ink, an ink wash. Um, there's a way to do it that uh, can make it really look nice and I found by removing the ink wash in certain places you, it causes a lovely highlighting effects of all your scales. So what we're doing is just going along and taking away the excess. So you're still getting that brightness of the scales but they've, they also look worn old and you're getting the shade underneath the scales. Just like so, it looks fantastic. Okay, so we'll, we'll carry on with the rest of the miniature. I'm just adding our ink wash. Yes, ink wash is a is a tricky thing. Um, a lot of people think it's a, a dunk and dip, and that's it. If there's lots of things you can do with an ink wash lots of amazing little tricks um, to make it easier and quicker to paint your miniatures. Um, I mean when I first started using ink wash it was a case of oh just dump my mini in, inside uh, get it covered in ink and wow looks amazing but um, it doesn't really work that way. Um, everything, everything takes a little bit of skill uh, and a little bit of patience and you'll be amazed the effects you can get just by adding that ink wash and removing certain places with the ink and you get all these beautiful highlights I mean that's looking amazing already and look I've only been working on this in this show so let's move up towards the head of the snake and we'll start at the top. Let's be careful here. We don't want to go onto the middle too much. We will be going into the middle, but the paint is still a little bit wet, and I don't want it to run into the rest of my miniature. A little bit more here. And again, we're removing the excess and giving some nice effects on the scales. We're just taking off the ink from the scale, but leaving ink where we want a shade to the miniature. Okay, moving on to the head of the miniature. For the head, we're going 
all, all over the head. And this will bring up all that beautiful detail on the snake head. Now for the snake head I will use my little baby cotton buds and I'm just going to remove the ink from around the top of the head and just on the side there but just around the eye and that will give us a lovely lighter effect going around the eye and the nose on that one snake. It's, and that's, I mean, this is just using cotton buds and tissues. Um, it's a very simple way to enhance your miniatures 100% just by using an ink wash. So we'll, we'll carry on with the rest of the snake heads. Okay, we're just going on the scales. And again on the other side. Go up. It's quick and easy. Okay, and once again, top of the snake head, we are removing the ink around the eye. This gives a lovely little light around the eye of the Hydra. Same on the other side. There we are. And we can do the same with the rest of the snake heads. Or the Hydra heads, should I should say. So. There we are. Now you have to be careful because um, ink wash does drip little spots um, and it's very easy to get it all over the rest of your work so try to add the ink wash as slow as possible otherwise it will spit like it's doing on my tissue there you can see all the ink wash is spitting um, so all we do is if you just add it slower it won't spit and uh, you won't get any of those horrible little marks on the rest of your miniature. So what we'll do is just finish off the rest of the Hydra ink wash and we shall be done for the day. Absolutely fantastic. Again, we're going over that eye just to pick out the highlights and back into the ink wash just to finish off the last couple of heads. If you've got any runaway ink, again, just use your tissue and you can take away any excess nice and simply with your tissues and of course your cotton buds will go into the deepest areas to remove any excess there we are perfect okay the last little head Yes, um, the bold GM. Um, it's something I've actually started doing in the, like the last five years or so. Um, I was just playing around with my miniatures and I think it was a genuine mistake because uh, I think I spilt my ink washes or something happened. So I started getting rid of all the ink wash and taking it off with tissues and stuff. And uh, I just realized that it is, you're able to make a lovely shade um, taking the ink wash away from your miniature instead it's, it's, it's the reverse effect of painting your second highlight um, it helps you because as you can see I'm adding that ink wash and I'm taking it off around the eye like so this this actually stops 
you have to add that second coat of paint because what we normally do is we have that ink wash when the ink wash dries that's when we do the highlighting on top of the ink wash um, this is just a way to help you with your highlighting you just take away the ink wash and you know it's exactly the same as adding that second highlight we still have to add more highlights to this miniature of course but it's a, it gives it's a start it's a it's a basic start so there we are that's your ink wash is added let me just get rid of that there a lot of people would probably call it cheating what I'm doing but this is what this channel is about this is about getting your miniatures ready for gaming to a tabletop standard you know, so you can get all your mini minis done so there we are that's our ink wash done for that one now my other miniature is not dry so we can't do that one just yet so there we are have you got any questions for me today this is as far as we can go today uh, what I'll do on Tuesday we'll finish these hydras off um, what I'll do is I'll be adding the black ink wash to the red hydra and it's exactly the same as I showed you on the green one <clears throat> um, and then we'll be doing all the highlights and just the finishing off of the two hy two hydras in our show on Tuesday so there we are um, thank you all so much for popping in and watching my show um, I hope you're all going to be having lots and lots of lovely food and roast dinners I'm sure I'm going to have something tasty in a minute probably a sandwich um, <laughs> Thank you, Tule, and thank you, everybody, for popping in. Um, it's really great that you'll support me doing what I'm doing. Um, it isn't easy to go live on stream. It's quite scary. Um, Umbro, I hope you're looking after yourself. I know you are. Uh, <laughs> but lots of love to you, and lots of love to everybody else. And I will say um, good afternoon, because it's only like 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. And... I will see you on Tuesday. So take care, everybody, and thank you for popping in. I'll say bye.